Hello viewers, my name is Eleonora and today I'll present my study on green solvents for the removal of edge varnishes. There are five main topics we are going to cover in this video. The first uh, is the meaning of the word green, the aim of my research, how the work was exe executed, uh, the main results uh, from this research, research and the conclusions. As defined by Anastas and Warner, the term green mainly means to reduce wastes, hazards and energy costs and to use renewable and biodegradable stocks for the design and of chemical products and processes. And also to achieve this, this aim, uh, in Europe there is a legislation that um, aims to uh, reduce hazards uh, for the health and environment by substituting the most dangerous chemicals. It is important to stress that the term green is always relative. In fact, it is better to say that a solvent is greener than another. As an example, the ethyl lactate is a greener alternative for the acetonitrile, but it's not fully green as it presents important health risks. Conservation science can bring sustainability in cultural heritage by taking into account, other than the classical risks for the art, also risks for health and environment. I started from an innovative green pr product that is used in conservation field for the varnish, aged varnish removal described in this paper here. However, the green varnish rescue has problems dissolving the most polar varnishes. So the question that my work will answer is, could it be improved? The first fundamental step was the research of actually considered green, green chemicals already used in cultural heritage and in other fields and then uh, solvents belonging to the families of acetals, uh, glycerol ethers, ethoxylated alcohols and fame were tested and selected in order to change uh, the polarity of the green varnish rescue along these four selected pathways. Seven mixtures were designed uh, with acetals um, as the main component and the exact composition cannot be revealed because there is a patent pending. Mixtures were first applied by Zwab and later only for the best results, the solution for the, with the best results were gelled with Clusel. The test samples are modern canvases painted with oil color and coated with four different varnishes with a dispersion of the uh, black carbon pigment in order to make it easy to observe the removal during the cleaning. All samples were artificially aged in aging chamber, in an aging chamber. Aging and cleaning operations were monitored by spectrocolorimetry, the reflectance spectroscopy and UV and IR imaging taken before and after the treatment. Also, the uh, residues uh, were analyzed uh, with the uh, FTIR ATR. That's the result after both the cleaning in swab and gel. You can see that the best results are visible in the synthetic varnishes. But in IR reflectance, the cleaning efficacy, efficacy of in uh, natural varnishes is better defined. While in this picture we see that almost all mixtures are effective, the efficiency isn't the same for all. In fact, uh, some used more swabs or longer uh, application time in gel form. And this factor is also evaluated in for the definition of the best mixture. Imaging results were confirmed by colorimetric analysis. All measurements were compared to the canvas without varnishes. 
In the mastic case, we observe that in squares B, C, and E tend to, tend to darker and yellower tones, and that is due to the presence of uh, aged varnish residues. Lastly, we analyzed the presence of, uh, of solvent residues with IR spectroscopy, and that showed that there are mainly residues of mixtures C, D and E, and none of the green varnish residue. Those residues were also present after a week of treatment, from the treatment. In conclusion, some mixtures tested in this work uh, showed very interesting properties and demonstrated that this new green solvent can be applied in the, for the cleaning of the works of art. Solution G here, can, it is too aggressive uh, because some uh, color layer swelling was observed and that suggests that uh, maybe it is needed uh, um, a time of application less than 10 minutes. Solution F was more effective in gel form than in, in, with the swab application. Solutions C, D and E happen to be very interesting green alterma alternatives, but lived, uh, lived residues. And these mixtures failed to improve the green varnish rescue. That is still the best product for the aged varnish removal because it has higher efficiency. However, other solutions so showed similar action and could be greener alternatives of interest for the cultural heritage. Of course, this study must be continued by a detailed analysis of uh, in binder and, in, and uh, solvent interaction, and also for the establishment of the evaporation and retention behavior of the chemicals. I hope you enjoyed the video. I would like to thank you all for the, your patience and attention. Thank you.